Diana Frances Spencer was born on 1 July 1961 at Park House, Sandringham, Norfolk. The Spencer family had been closely allied with the British royal family for several generations. Diana grew up in Park House, situated on the Sandringham estate. The family leased the house from its owner, Queen Elizabeth II. The royal family frequently holidayed at the neighboring Sandringham house, and Diana played with the Queen's sons Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Diana was seven years old when her parents divorced. In 1978, Diana worked for three months as a nanny for Philippa and Jeremy Whitaker in Hampshire. And she spent time working as a nanny for the Robertsons, an American family living in London, and worked as a nursery teacher's assistant at the Young England School in Pimlico. Diana first met the Charles the Prince of Wales Elizabeth II's eldest son and heir apparent, when she was 16 years old in November 1977. And Charles was then 29 and dating her older sister, Sarah. Charles and Diana were guests at a country weekend during the summer of 1980 and he took a serious interest in her as a potential bride. The relationship progressed when he invited her aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia for a sailing weekend to Cowes. This was followed by an invitation to Balmoral Castle, the royal family's Scottish residence, to meet his family. She was well received by the Queen, the Queen Mother and the Duke of Edinburgh. He proposed on 6 February 1981 at Windsor Castle, and she accepted, but their engagement was kept secret for two and a half weeks. Their engagement became official on February 24, 1981. Diana selected her own engagement ring. Following the engagement, she made her first public appearance with Prince Charles in a charity ball in March 1981 at Goldsmiths Hall, where she met Princess Grace of Monaco. 20-year-old Diana became the Princess of Wales when she married Charles on July 29, 1981. The wedding was held at St. Paul's Cathedral, which offered more seating than Westminster Abbey, a church that was generally used for royal nuptials. The service was widely described as a fairy tale wedding, and was watched by a global television audience of 750 million people while 600,000 spectators lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the couple en route to the ceremony. Diana wore a dress valued at £9,000, equivalent to £36,700 in 2023, with a 25-foot, 7.62 meters train. After she became Princess of Wales, Diana automatically acquired rank as the third highest female in the British Order of Precedence, after the Queen and the Queen Mother. Within a few years of the wedding, the Queen extended Diana visible tokens of membership in the royal family, she lent her the Queen Mary's lover's knot tiara, and granted her the badge of the Royal Family Order of Elizabeth II. The couple had residences at Kensington Palace and Highgrove House. On November 5, 1981, Diana's pregnancy was announced. On June 21, 1982, Diana gave birth to the couple's first son, Prince William. She subsequently suffered from postpartum depression after her first pregnancy. A second son, Harry, was born on September 15, 1984. Diana said she and Charles were closest during her pregnancy with Harry. She was aware their second child was a boy, but did not share the knowledge with anyone else, including Charles as he was hoping for a girl. Five years into the marriage, the couple's incompatibility and age difference of 12 years became visible and damaging. In 1986 Diana began a relationship with Major James Hewitt, the family's former riding instructor and in the same year. Charles resumed his relationship with his former girlfriend Camilla Parker Bowles. The media speculated that Hewitt, not Charles, was Harry's father based on the alleged physical similarity between Hewitt and Harry, but Hewitt and others have denied this. Harry was born two years before Hewitt and Diana began their affair. 
by 1987, cracks in their marriage had become visible and the couple's unhappiness and cold attitude towards one another were being reported by the press, who dubbed them, the Glums, due to their evident discomfort in each other's company. In 1989, Diana was at a birthday party for Camilla's sister, Annabelle Elliott, when she confronted Camilla about her and Charles's extramarital affair. These affairs were later exposed in 1992 with the publication of Andrew Morton's book, Diana, Her True Story. The book, which also revealed Diana's allegedly suicidal unhappiness, caused a media storm. In 1991, James Colthurst conducted secret interviews with Diana in which she had talked about her marital issues and difficulties. These recordings were later used as a source for Morden's book. During her lifetime, both Diana and Morden denied her direct involvement in the writing process and maintained that family and friends were the book's main source, however, after her death Morden acknowledged Diana's role in writing the tell-all in the book's updated edition, Diana, her true story in her own words. The Queen and Prince Philip hosted a meeting between Charles and Diana and unsuccessfully tried to effect a reconciliation. In December 1992, Prime Minister John Major announced the couple's amicable separation to the House of Commons. Between 1992 and 1993, Diana hired a voice coach Peter Sedlin to help her develop her public speaking voice. That people are who are HIV. In a videotape recorded by Peter Sedlin in 1992, Diana said that in 1984 through to 1986, she had been deeply in love with someone who worked in this environment. It is thought she was referring to Barry Menaki, who was her bodyguard. Diana said in the tape that Menaki had been chucked out from his role as her bodyguard following suspicion that the two were having an affair. Charles' aunt, Princess Margaret, burned a highly personal letters that Diana had written to the Queen Mother in 1993. Although she blamed Camilla Parker Bowles for her marital troubles, Diana began to believe her husband had also been involved in other affairs. In October 1993, Diana wrote to her butler, Paul Burrell, he is best known for becoming the trusted personal assistant and confidant to Princess Diana. Diana telling Paul Burrell, that she believed her husband was now in love with his personal assistant Tiggy Leg Burke, who was also his son's former nanny and was planning to have her killed, to make the path clear for him to marry Tiggy. Leg Burke had been hired by Charles as a young companion for his sons while they were in his care. Prince Charles sought public understanding via a televised interview with Jonathan Dimbleby on the 29th of June 1994. In the interview, he said he had rekindled his relationship with Camilla in 1986, only after his marriage to Diana had irretrievably broken down. In the same year, the news of the world claimed that Diana had made over 300 phone calls to the married art dealer, Oliver Hoare. These calls were proven to have been made both from her Kensington Palace apartment, and from the phone box just outside the palace. However, Diana denied any romantic relationship with Oliver Hoare, whom she described as a friend. She was also linked by the press to rugby union player Will Carling and private equity investor Theodore J. Forstman, yet these claims were neither confirmed nor proven. Journalist Martin Bashir interviewed Diana for the BBC Current Affairs show Panorama. The interview was broadcast on November 20, 1995. Diana discussed her own and her husband's extramarital affairs. Referring to Charles's relationship with Camilla, she said, Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> and Diana said, she had suffered from depression, rampant bulimia, and had engaged numerous times in the act of self-mutilation. The show's transcript records Diana confirming many of her mental health problems, including that she had hurt her arms and legs. After the interview aired on television, on December 20, 1995, Buckingham Palace announced that the Queen had sent letters to Charles and Diana, advising them to divorce. 
After two weeks Charles formally agreed to the divorce in a written statement soon after. In February 1996, Diana announced her agreement after negotiations with Charles and representatives of the Queen, irritating Buckingham Palace by issuing her own announcement of the divorce agreement and its terms. In July 1996, the couple agreed on the terms of their divorce. The divorce was finalized on 28 August 1996. The couple shared custody of their children. Diana received a lump sum settlement of £17 million, equivalent to £34 million in 2023, as well as £400,000 per year. Diana lost the style, Her Royal Highness, and instead was styled Diana, Princess of Wales. The Queen reportedly wanted to let Diana continue to use the style of Royal Highness after her divorce, but Charles had insisted on removing it. Prince William was reported to have reassured his mother, don't worry, mummy, I will give it back to you one day when I am king. Almost a year Prince Philip had warned Diana, if you don't behave, my girl, we'll take your title away. And Diana replied, my title is a lot older than yours, Philip. After her divorce 1996, Diana retained the double apartment on the north side of Kensington Palace, that she had shared with Charles, since the first year of their marriage. The apartment remained her home until her death the following year. Diana retained close friendships with several celebrities, including Elton John, Freddie Mercury, Liza Minnelli, George Michael, Michael Jackson, and Johnny Versace. She dated the British Pakistani heart surgeon, Haznat Khan who was called, the love of her life, and described him as, Mr. Wonderful. In May 1996, Diana visited Lahore city in Pakistan, upon invitation of Imran Khan, a relative of Haznat Khan, and visited the latter's family in secret. Haznat Khan and Diana was intensely private their relationship and conducted in secrecy. Diana and Haznat Khan lying to the press and to the public. Their relationship lasted almost two years. Diana said to have spoken of her distress when he ended their relationship. However, according to Haznat Khan testimony at the inquest into Diana's death, it was Diana who ended their relationship in the summer of 1997. Paul Burrell also said the relationship was ended by Diana in July 1997. Burrell also claimed that Diana's mother, Frances Shand Kidd, disapproved of her daughter's relationship with a Muslim man. Within a month, Diana began a relationship with Dodi Fayed, the son of her summer host, Muhammad Al Fayed. That summer, Diana had considered taking her sons on a holiday to the Hamptons on Long Island, New York. But security officials had prevented it. After deciding against a trip to Thailand, she accepted Fayed's invitation to join his family in the south of France. Mohammed Al Fayed bought the Jonicle, a 60-meter multi-million pound yacht on which to entertain Diana and her sons. On August 31, 1997, Diana died in a car crash in the Pont de l'Alma tunnel in Paris, while the driver was fleeing the paparazzi. The crash also resulted in the deaths of her companion Dodi Fayed and the driver, Henri Paul, who was the acting security manager of the Hotel Ritz Paris. Trevor Reese Jones, who was employed as a bodyguard by Dodi's father, survived the crash and suffering a serious head injury. The televised funeral, on September 6, 1997, was watched by a British television audience that peaked at 32.10 million which was one of the United Kingdom's highest viewing figures ever. Millions more watched the event around the world. The sudden and unexpected death of an extraordinarily popular royal figure brought statements from senior figures worldwide and many tributes by members of the public. People left flowers, candles, cards, and personal messages outside Kensington Palace for many months. The original plan was for Diana to be buried in the Spencer family vault, at the local church in nearby Great Brington. But Lord Spencer said he was concerned about public safety and security in the onslaught of visitors that might overwhelm Great Brington. He decided Diana would be buried where her grave could be easily cared for and visited in privacy by William, Harry, and other relatives. 
This coming August 31, 2023, will be 26 years since the passing of Princess Diana. Until now he still remains in the hearts of people. And she is still considered as the real Queen of England and Queen of People's Heart. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.